Thanks for joining me this month for the April-May edition of Center Shots video on bowhuntingmag.com. And if you go back to the magazine, you'll see that I wrote about a subject called modern shot selection. And uh, the question I raised was whether or not the equipment that we're carrying into the field now allows us to be more aggressive in the shots that we take at game. And it's a fairly controversial subject, but when you think about it, the equipment has really advanced over the last two decades for sure. And, and uh, our ideas of what is an ethical shot have not changed. You know, we, we are still preaching the same exact shot selection criteria as we did when we were shooting the bare whitetail hunters and the recurve bows 30 years ago. So uh, now the question is, do we have the luxury with this new equipment of stretching the boundaries of, of what has long been considered ethical shot selection? First thing I'm going to tackle is the shooting distance. And uh, to get right to the heart of it, I do believe that these bows that we're shooting today are accurate at longer distances than the bows that we carried a decade ago. The, not only is it just the bows, the broadheads are more accurate, they're, they're built better, they're better aligned with the arrows, uh, the arrows themselves, they drift less in the wind, they're smaller diameter, uh, the bows are more precise, they tune easier. I believe that all adds up to greater accuracy at longer distances. So yeah, I think we are, we are more accurate, and I think it's, it's realistic to, to add five yards to your shooting range. If you were thinking 10 years ago that you were effective at 25 yards, you know, now I bet you if you went out in the yard and tested your skills, you'd be at the same level at 30 yards that you were at at 25 yards 10 years ago. So I do believe that we've stretched our, our maximum shooting range slightly. But again, I think it's only just about five yards. You know, it's not so much whether we have the capability of, of hitting a certain spot, uh, we're always going to be limited by whether or not the animal stands still long enough for the arrow to get there. Because it takes a while from the time your finger starts to move on the trigger until the arrow makes it all the way to the animal. And that's always going to be the limiting factor. It's always going to be the one thing that's going to keep us from taking those really long shots because the animals we're hunting are so unpredictable. So conclusion number one is, yeah, I believe the equipment has made us more effective at longer distances. Question number two is whether or not uh, we can take different shot angles. You know, have we opened up the opportunity now for quartering toward shots on game? You know, we've always been instructed that broadside or slightly quartering away are the only ethical shots that we should take at game. And I, I think, again, the equipment that we carry does open up at least some consideration of, of new shot angles. Uh, I've taken some quartering toward shots in the past few years that I wouldn't have taken several years back. I'm shooting heavier draw weights, or you know, continue to shoot heavier draw weights. I'm shooting higher energy bows than what I've carried in the past. I mean, these bows pack a heavy punch. The arrows we're shooting are small in diameter. The broadheads are designed for better penetration. I mean, everything I'm carrying now penetrates better than the same equipment that I would have carried 10 years ago. So that does, in my mind, open up the opportunity for some shots that would have been penetration limited a decade ago some of the quartering toward shots. We just have to compensate for where the vitals are. So a close shot where the animal is standing face on, you know, say a, a white-tailed deer sized animal or smaller, you know, an antelope, uh, you know, that, that size of animal where penetration is not really that critical to begin with. And now with the equipment we're carrying, we've, we've even, you know, extended it one step further. Um, I'm perfectly comfortable on close range shots where I know I can place that arrow precisely on taking these head-on or quartering toward shots because now we can punch in in spots and, and get plenty of penetration to get at least three major organs. You're going to get a lung, uh, diaphragm, liver, part of the paunch. Uh, that's going to cause a really quick kill. In fact, uh, I've, I've taken the shot a few times over the past few years and just had, with devastating results. But again, it's not for everybody and it's not for every situation. But this equipment does open up that, that opportunity that when you really evaluate your skills, uh, that, that there is that chance of taking slightly more aggressive shots on, on quartering toward animals. But again, you have to make sure that you compensate for where the vitals are at uh, when, you, when you make your aim point. So anyway, to wrap this up, uh, I do believe that the evolution of equipment has slightly changed our shot selection criteria. I believe we can shoot a little bit farther, and I believe our, our, our choice of shots themselves can be slightly more aggressive. Again, bow hunting is a short-range sport. It's always going to be a short-range sport. We're not talking about big differences here. But, you know, if you practice a lot and you've got a lot of experience in the field, 
you know, I think it's it's reasonable to start to spend a little bit of time reevaluating the types of shots that you've been taking. So anyway, I, I appreciate you joining me. Uh, and I'll be back again in another month for the next installment of CenterShot's video on bowhuntingmag.com.